All right, mate. All right. Nice hat. Thank you. <laughs> I've got one too. Very nice. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Ryan Builds Wheels. Thanks very much for joining us. Today, I'm joined by David from BSC Tools. David is a tool builder based over in Wales, and he's got a great line of wheel building tools. Today, we're gonna to find out a little more about him, a little bit more about the company, and do a deep dive into some of the stuff they offer. Let's get cracking. So tell us, <laughs> tell us a bit about you, bikes, because you're a rider as well, aren't you? Yeah, um, got my first mountain bike when I was 17. Then I went to Cardiff University uh, to compute science, but also did a lot of mountain biking. Got to mountain bike racing. I was actually Welsh mountain bike champion in 98, 99. Sweet. Um, progressed on to like road racing and then triathlon. For almost 10 years, represented GB a couple of times you did. in age group. Yeah, original career was computer software. Mm -hmm. Did that for over 20 years. And then, like yourself, I, I ended up getting a lathe. I bought, remember buying a um, bearing press tool and a friend said like if you had a lathe you could, you could make that really cheaply and it was, yeah. it was an expensive tool. You know, I, I'd be making tools, people going to work and then it got to the point where I would start to get product ordered and made, made to my specification. And that just kind of grew and grew. During lockdown, I'd be up at four in the morning doing the sort of tools business and then I'd do my nine to five IT job and do a bit more in the evening. Oh, so you're really pushing. Yeah, and um, it got really busy, and it, and it got so busy that I was like, you know what, I could, I could do this full-time. Went full-time with it just over two years ago now. Yeah, it's gone from strength to strength. First time I heard about you and I saw the tools that you were making was via the Bicycle Wheel Builders Facebook group. Yes. There was a particular feature that somebody pointed out to you that you'd not heard about before. Yeah, so Alex Hearn, who, who runs that group, yeah, he said he liked, liked the sort of look at the tools and stuff, but had I considered an adjustable tip, and I said I hadn't, you know, tell, tell me more. So I worked with him on the specification and, and made a few prototypes, got those sent out to people, including yourself. It's been a real honour to be able to, well, to be trusted to help develop some of your tools. Yeah. But what I really like most about the BSC wheel, wheel building tools is because you've been speaking to wheel builders directly, the fact that they've been quite refined and they've got a, little, a lot of quality of life features that just aren't available on other tools yeah. uh, out there that are similar. And it was really nice that you started with the drivers because that really kick-started something. A good quality driver for different nipple types is, is just a game changer. Yeah. So you're saving a lot of people a lot of time. One of the downsides to the nipple drivers that were available on the market is that there were actually a limited amount of them or... And some people had had to mod their own. And but here, with the BSC tools range, I see that you've got drivers for internal square nipples, standard slotted nipples, hex nipples. And if I'm right, you invested quite a bit of time and energy recently to also be able to machine stuff for DT Swiss Squawks. Is that right? Yes. Sweet. Yeah, that's, that's one of the later ones we've done, yeah. Great. So BSC tools has the full range of nipple driver types that you might require. And they come in this lovely... 3D printed display case. They're available in short, uh, which is all good. And then I see that also for deep section wheels, they're available in a longer version as well for working on carbon or any yeah. deeper section wheel. Yeah. And yeah, I see a couple of differences between your tools and others. I see that slotted to fit into drills as well to start with. Yeah, so originally when we done the, the sort of hand versions, mm. Somebody said, oh, that's great, but most professional wheel builders will, will more want to use drill to lay to that original, you know, initially. Yes, it um, just speeds things up. Yeah. And they said some of the ones on the market, because they were round, could, could slip in the drill. So could you could you do a standard screwdriver fitting? So we did that, and then we added the little uh, radius so that some, some screwdrivers have got a little locking mechanism for that. Yep. So we, we added that in as well. Yeah, I find that the BSC tools drivers um, are no slipping, nice and firm. And I see that, so back in the day, I had to make my own depth gauge on my tools. But on a BSC driver, you've got these really nice pre-made pins, which I really appreciate. It, it saves me a lot of time having to, rather than having to make my own. The grub screws are really high quality. The pins themselves, you've gone through a lot of effort on those. Those actually have a nice flat. Grab that grub screw 
and I think you ship an appropriate Allen with them, or yep. I'm forever losing mine, so having it shipped with a tool is great. Why is this one black? So that one is now hardened steel. Hundreds of people are using these, no problems, getting the odd customer over talking them mm -hmm. and uh, bending them, so we brought out a hardened steel version. Great. Um, not had any issues with double square or the hex. What Dave is saying about over talking is, is perfectly true. I keep a bunch of David's tools for my own use here in house. And yeah, whilst I use them day in, day out, it's true. Sometimes with the non-hardened versions I have, I've had my drill set to way too high a torque, or I've been trying to use it to undo something, which isn't really what they're designed for, to have bent some of the, the ends of them. I think for anyone building loads of wheels, or if you just think you're a bit clumsy from times to times, but for a few extra quid, going with a hardened one, you, you got a tool that you can be a little rougher with, and, you know, try not to break your nice tools, people. So having the Allen key and everything that you need and that machine surface for gripping into a drill is, is really nice. The finish is lovely. It's always nice to, to work with tools that look good as well. And because it's a fixed depth, whilst it is adjustable, what's nice is unlike other tools uh, whereby the force of the spoke coming into the nipple can push that driver's depth gauge back and you lose depth the fact that it's a set depth works very well and one of the issues with old school hand drivers was that the depth just was too shallow so you'd gain way too much tension in a wheel build to start with and that would throw a lot of people off i really like the, uh, the quality of the, the hand drivers as well they're just really nice and you know you don't get many tool brands that like to play with color and that's just it's just a joy are these now equipped with bushings? Are they equipped with bearings or put two two brass bushings mm -hmm. and then spin spins with a knife? It does. And unlike a lot of the tools that I used to have, like the the play in the old tools was so sloppy. For such an expensive tool, like compared to tools were like I seem to remember like fifty, sixty odd quid RRP back then. Yeah. And to receive a a poorly machined handle that was just in grey aluminium and with loads of clay. It was really unappealing. I don't know how much these are. How much are they? Uh, Forty nine ninety nine in the UK. So ch cheaper than those that are worse. Not bad at all. I mentioned this nice little three D printed case. So not only machining, but you've got to do a little bit of three D printing as well. Just got interested, had a look at three D printing, and thought actually that that could solve a couple of issues. And also, you know, lead to the odd product like our nipple shuffler box. Yeah, let's print. take a let's take a look at the nipple shuffler. The BSC's nipple shuffler, which is really nice and bright, I really like it. I need to get in some in for my students. Actually, once a month we run a wheel building course here in house, okay. which is a real joy. But for those of you who aren't aware, the idea of a nipple shuffler is that you can dump a load of nipples in there, as such. Your nipples will then end up facing down, and that's a good thing. David's tool has got a really nice little camber in there to help them do that. But there's a couple of reasons you might want to use a nipple shuffler. Some people like to soak their nipples in their chosen lubricant to start with. Yep. And so what that means is, especially if you've got a drip tray, like the BSC Tools one does have, then you've got somewhere for that lubricant to then go. A lot of people will then use a nipple assembly tool of something, which is also one of my favourite things that you do. It's just really nicely machined. It's uh, Yeah, the aesthetics of it is really reminiscent of some of the EVT tools that I've always been looking at. But it's got some really nice additional features. Yeah, pe people asked us, could we do something similar, but with a nice bearing on it? Yeah. So it just sort of rotates nice in the hand. So it does. So, so yeah, we, we should probably show people what a nipple assembly tool is for. Yeah. Nipple assembly tools, you don't always want to be trying to thread nipples on by hand. That can just be a real pain in the ass. But a nipple assembly tool allows you to simply pick up a nipple from something like a nipple shuffler. And now you've got the ability to just gently thread that on before you use a driver. What I like most about the, the BSC tools is the fact that it can stand up on the workbench. <laughs> that might sound silly, but when you've got a busy working environment, then being able to have, keep your tools tidy like this is, is real nice.
Two sizes for 14 gauge nipples and 13 gauge nipples. Yes. Right? Sweet. Yeah. All right. Next tools then. What have we got? I like the external boat drivers. So not all nipples are driven by a, a spoke key from the inside of the rim. Some of them are internal only or have an additional driver on the end. Sometimes you don't want to be touching the nipple flaps all the time. And those of you who are in the trade or have used stuff like that before might be familiar with Park Tools who do a few of these. They're fairly common, they're, you know, they're, they're cheap, they do the job. But you and I had a chat about, about ergonomics. Yeah. So I often don't like how this movement, especially day in, day out, that's just painful. And so when you and I talked about making essentially not drivers, but let's call them chewing keys, the fact that this is a T handle and, and a nice weight as well means that you can really, really drive stuff. There's a depth finder on these as well. If you want to use them as a driver, to use them for truing, you'd remove that pin. But a nice little feature as well is just on the end here, I see a little grub screw. What's, what's in there? So you've got a spare pin and a spare grub screw as well. Sweet. So yeah, the T-handle drivers are, are very comfy. And again, I, I like the fact that, you know, it's a small it's a small detail, but to have somewhere to safely keep a, a small part is real nice. Is there anything you particularly envisioned this nice little end cap for, or is it just a, uh, a feature yeah, for the well, user to... Yeah, it's, it's designed primarily as just a standard screwdriver handle, mm -hmm. so, you know, you could put a few, you know, Phillips or positive drive bits. Any other it's, tools it's you might just, want. Yeah, when well, it's a normal screwdriver kind of thing. Yeah, that's nice. But, yeah, the odd person, as you said, does, you know, like, pe people's needs vary. Some people like just using the, the ones that work in the drill. Um, some people do like working by hand, and then somebody did ask, you know, could could you do a handle for just the normal bits? Yeah. So, so we did. What I hear consistently is that you often listen to what customers are asking, and because you're a relatively small company, it means you can often move quite quickly yeah. and, and do these things, and prototyping super easy. It's always listening. A lot, a lot of the tool ideas come from, from good customers, basically. All right, that kind of brings us to the end of the the, the wheel building specific range of tools that you've got. I, I really like them. I've been using them all for a little while. Others that I see that we've got that we haven't mentioned yet, you've got a really nice deburrer. Um, we talked about your rim rods in our last video, and that's what got us here. Through axle adapter for truing stands. Another little one I use all the time is the axle remover. A lot of us who, who build wheels for a living or build lots of wheels often end up servicing wheels. So you also do your own bearing press kit, which again is, is really nice and colourful. Hub pivot and bearing presses, they look super colourful and fun. I wish I had one. Over axle bearing drifts, real nice. Bearing extractors, your press fit bottom bracket remover is being used officially by the UCI. Oh, you do a, a five pin tool for Mavic hubs. I hate Mavic's tools. I hate Mavic's hubs. I hate Mavic's wheels. But I tried machining one of these myself when I didn't know how to use a lathe. I'm glad that you've done the job properly. <laughs> Donut screwdrivers, dummy pedals, chain whips, high quality ring nut tool removers for DT Swiss. DT Swiss yeah, T40s. Yeah, fully through hardened. They break all the time. Sold a lot of those, not had anyone break one as yet. That's a game changer. Squirts and suspension top cap sockets as well. Really, really close tolerance fit on those. Yeah, you see a lot of people with fork top caps that just rounded off and it's ugly. Through adapters, nipple shufflers, the rotor tools out now, headset drifts. Well, man, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. That's just great to see. And I'm super stoked to see the range growing as ever. Thank you. So, two years in, it's, it's done. Yeah, no, it's, it's really pleased how it's gone. Well, thanks very much for coming. The website you guys want to visit is bicycleservicecentre.co.uk. You can also find David as BSC Tools on Instagram, I believe. Yep. And we've got a great little surprise for you. Thanks very much for watching. You can visit bicycleservicecentre.co.uk or our own Spokes from Ryan website. Then if you input the code WheelNerd5, it's on the screen right now, you'll get 5% off any BSC Tools products. I'll receive a small kickback on any purchases that you make using that code. And so that's a great way of supporting both BSC Tools and the Ryan Builds Wheels YouTube channel. Let us know what other wheel building tools you'd like to see on the market. Let us know if there's any fun little features that you think could be 
put into any of these existing tools or stuff that you just see or think about but isn't there yet? Comments down below, let us know. We'll do our best to maybe create some new tools in the future. Well, it's been fantastic having you, David. Thanks very much for coming along. Thanks for having me. So, uh, should we go with pizza or go to the pub in a bit? Yeah. Right, goodbye, YouTube. Catch you next time, Will Nerds. We're going to go eat pizza or something. See you next time.